10. The search for an infant reported missing in Carthage, Missouri ends in tragedy, and it's his father who is the prime suspect. Good evening, I'm Jordan Vandenberg. And I'm Jennifer Meckles. A Ladonia truck driver accused of beating, torturing, and strangling to death a family friend says he did it to defend his family. The Aldrain County Sheriff's Department arrested Chester Harvey back in December for his role in the death of William Boyd McNeely. Harvey allegedly bound and tortured McNeely for two days in the basement of his Ladonia home. Officials later arrested Harvey's wife, Angela, his three oldest sons, and three others in connection with the death. The Associated Press reports Chester Harvey says he killed McNeely to protect his family. Harvey says McNeely allegedly attacked his wife and three sons while he was away. The AP report also mentioned the Harvey family and McNeely had plans to create a multi-state drug operation until the relationship soured. Chester Harvey remains behind bars without bond. Missouri's NAACP says Missouri energy rates are already unfair and they say that that might soon get worse. This morning, the group passed a resolution highly critical of the State Public Service Commission. NAACP says the commission has an ongoing practice of letting the largest and richest businesses play pay lower energy rates than the poorest residential customers. Cami Waits' Alex Rozier joins us in the studio with more. Alex? A midair airplane collision left several dead today in Colorado. And the latest details on the chaos in Haiti as law enforcement tries to take back the streets. And here's a live look over Columbia. Looks pretty clear outside. This is KMU8 News at 10. Coverage you can count on. Several people were killed after two airplanes collided in Colorado today. The midair collision occurred this afternoon in Boulder, Colorado, where a plane struck a tow cable pulling a glider behind another plane. Look at that. You're looking at an amateur video shot moments after the crash showed a smoking object and a parachute falling to the ground. NTSB officials say four people aboard the plane that hit the cable were all killed. According to officers with the Boulder Sheriff's Department, the glider cut loose seconds before the crash and landed safely. Jesse James Hollywood was sentenced yesterday to life without parole. Hollywood is the inspiration for the movie Alpha Dog. The 30-year-old Hollywood is convicted of the first-degree murder of 15-year-old Nicholas Markowitz. Prosecutors say Hollywood masterminded a plan to kidnap and murder Markowitz over a dispute with the teenager's half-brother who owned $1,200 in drug money. I think they can manage. I think we'll be okay. I think that's yes. the last thing they're worried about. Oh, yes. More about the presents and the chocolate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Better get ready, Jordan. Let's be honest here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. But for some people, black and gold are just colors. But for the Mizzou softball team, it means the start of a new season. This is KMU8 News at 10 coverage you can count on. But first, here are your lucky lotto numbers. Good luck. Show me the money.